Hello and welcome to this video of fifth set of problems that is problem 41 to 50. As always I will say that when I'm reading the problem you should pause the video and try to solve the problem yourself. If you cannot solve the problem yourself only then look at the solution. <clears throat> so problem 41 says that if log of x by q minus r is equal to log of y by r minus p is equal to log of z by p minus q prove that x to the power q plus r into y to the power p plus r into z to the power p plus q is equal to x to the power p y to the power q z to the power r <coughs> so we take the equality of given ratios and we let that ratio is equal to k so log x becomes k into q minus r, log y becomes k into r minus p and log z is equal to k into p minus q. Now this is the equality we have to prove. So we take log of both sides. When we take log of both sides, we get q plus r into log x plus p plus, it, p plus r into log y plus p plus q into log z is equal to p log x plus q log y plus r log z. Now we will substitute the value of log x, log y and log z from here and we will obtain on left hand side k into q square minus r square plus k into r square minus p square plus k into p square minus q square and on right hand side we will obtain k into pq minus pr plus qr minus pq plus pr minus qr. Now both sides will evaluate to be zero and thus they are equal. <coughs> Excuse me. So problem 42 says that if y is equal to a to the power 1 by 1 minus log of x with base a and z is equal to a to the power 1 by 1 minus log of y with base a prove that x is equal to a to the power 1 by 1 minus log of z with base a. So here we are given the value of y and z. So we substitute the value of y here in the z's value so we get z is equal to a to the power 1 by 1 minus log of a to the power 1 by 1 minus log of x with base a and we take the base a here as well so you see log of a with base a will become 1 and we will remain with z is equal to a to the power 1 by 1 minus 1 by 1 minus log of x with base a so we take log of this both sides. So you see <clears throat> when you take log what happens is if you evaluate this term if you take LCM it becomes 1 minus log of x with base a minus 1 and 1 will get cancelled. We will have minus of log of ax and in the numerator it will go in the numerator 1 minus log of a with base x. And also when you take log of uh, right hand side with base a it becomes 1 so what will remain is the power so we see log z is equal to this much and then you take lcm we get this much so if you divide now further simplify this you get 1 minus 1 by log of x with base a so if we have log z we can uh, manipulate that is we bring log z to the right hand side and we take 1 by log x with base a to left hand side we get 1 minus log of uh, z with base a so log of uh, x with base a is equal to 1 by 1 minus log of z with base a so x becomes a to the power 1 by 1 minus log of z with base a as is desired problem 43 says that let fx be a function such that fx is equal to 1 by 1 minus log of x with base a if fy is equal to e to the power of z and z is equal to e to the power of x prove that x is equal to e to the power f of y so here we are given f of uh, f of x so we can find f of y like this oh no f of y is also given yeah f of y is equal to e to the power of z so fz becomes 1 by 1 minus log of z with base e so f of y is e to the power fz so 1 by 1 minus log of z with base a and z is equal to fx here j, e to the power of x so z becomes e to the power 1 minus 1 by 1 minus log of x with base e so we substitute this value of z in f of y so f of y becomes 
e to the power 1 by 1 minus log of uh, e to the power 1 by 1 minus log of x with base e and then with base e again. So you see log of e with base e will become 1 and f of y will be e to the power 1 by 1 minus 1 by 1 minus log of x with base e. So we again if we take log of uh, f y with base e left hand side will become log of f of y with base e and right hand side this will become 1 and so we will have 1 by 1 minus 1 by 1 minus log e x and when you take lcm of that it will become 1 minus uh, log of uh, x with base e divided by minus log of x with base e and then you can manipulate like previous problem you will get x is equal to e to the power f of y problem 44 says that show that log of n by with base 2 plus log of n with base 3 plus log of n with base 4 up to log of n with base 43 is equal to 1 by log of n with base 43 factorial now we have already solved one question like this this is just to reinforce the concept in that problem we have found uh, uh, the maximum value was 1988 here as base and on the right hand side we had base as 1988 factorial <coughs> So solving like that, we exchange the base and number whose logarithm is to be taken and we bring this into numerator. So log n with base 2 becomes log of 2 with base n, log n of base 3 becomes log of 3 with base n and so on up to log of 43 with base n. Now from formula we multiply all these and we get log of n uh, of sorry log of 2 into 3 into 4 up to 43 with base n so this becomes factorial 43 what is multiplied here and we get log of 43 factorial with base n and then we again exchange the number and uh, base we get it as 1 by log of n with base 43 factorial problem 45 says that show that 2 into log of a plus log of a square plus log of a to the power 3 up to log of a to the power n is equal to n into n plus 1 into log a. So here what we can do is <clears throat> we can take out the power and we can write that in front. So log a square will become 2 log a, log a cube will become 3 log a and log a to the power n will become n log a. That is from the formula which we have discussed. And after that we take out log a. So what will remain inside is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. And sum of that from our arithmetic progression is n into n plus 1 by 2. This 2 and this 2 gets cancelled and we remain, we are left with n into n plus 1 log of a. Problem 46 says that find the number of digits in 12 to the power 12 without actual computation given log of 2 is equal to 0 0.301 and log of 3 is equal to 0 0.477. So... <coughs> The concept here is that if uh, the positive characteristics is n, then there will be n plus 1 digits in the number. And I'll just give an example how. So suppose we are using log of uh, base 10. So 1 through 9 or uh, yeah, 1 through 9 will have characteristics 0. Log of 10 with base 10 will be then so you see when the characteristics is 0 there is one digit now if you take from 10 to 99 logarithm will be 1 point something because log of 100 is 2 when base is 10 so you see characteristics remain from 1 to 1 point something so in this case number of digits is 1 plus 1 and similarly from 100 to 19, 999 the characteristics will be 2 point uh, the logarithm will be 2 point something <clears throat> because log 100 is 2 and log 1000 is 3 so you see that when the characteristics is n the number of digits will be n plus 1 so we let here y is equal to 12 to the power 12 and then we take the logarithm and we split 12 as some uh, as product of its prime factors which are logarithm of which are given 2 2 and 3 and so we evaluate it as 12.96 so since characteristics here is 12 number of digits would be 13 problem 47 says that how many positive 
integers have characteristics 2 when base is 3. So I will again give a little bit of theory on this. So again following from the example of log with base 10, when characteristics is 1, we have 9, uh, sorry, we will have 10 numbers, right? And from 10 to 99, we, we will have 9 numbers when it is uh, 0, 1 to 9. And when it is 2, we have 10 through 99, that is 90 such numbers. And then when it is 2, characteristics is 2, then number of numbers is 900, from 100 to 999. So 9 uh, and then 90 and then 900. So you see the difference is 10 minus 1, uh, 100 minus 10, then 1000 minus 100, then it will be 10,000 minus 1000, where base is 10. So if you write it in terms of power, it would be 10 to the power 1 minus 10 to the power 0, when characteristics is 0. When characteristics is uh, 1, then it would be uh, 100 minus 10, that is 10 square minus 10 to the power 1. So we observe that the formula would be base to the power n plus 1 minus base to the power n, where n is the characteristics. Those many integers will fall in that range. So we use that fact and in this case our base is 3 and characteristics is 2, so such numbers would be 3 to the power 2 plus 1 minus 3 square, that is 18 such numbers. Okay, this was problem 47. So problem 48 is, how many zeros are there between the decimal point and the first significant digit 0.0504 to the power 10? We are given the values of log 2, log 3 and log 7. So in this case, uh, we let y is equal to the given number and then we take log and we find that log as minus 12.98. Now in this case characteristics is 13. Therefore number of zeros after decimal and first significant digit will be 12. So similarly as we have computed the uh, number of integers and number of significant digits uh, in case of positive terms, you can apply the same logic for negative terms and in this case characteristics uh, plus 1 will be the number of zeros before after decimal and first significant digit in case of fractional numbers. Problem 49 says that find the number of digits in 72 to the power 15 without actual computation. We are given the log of 2 and 3. So in this case we take x is equal to 72 to the power 15 and we split 72 in terms of factors of 2 and 3 and we get characteristics at 27, so number of digits will be 28. Problem 50 says that how many positive integers have characteristics 2 with when base is 5. So we follow, similarly we get number of integers as 5 to the power characteristics plus 1, that is 3, because characteristics in this case is 2, minus 5 square is equal to 100. So with this we come to the end of fifth set of problems. And uh, we will uh, see next 10 problems in next video. And if you find this video useful, please subscribe to the channel and uh, like the video. That does two things. First, it motivates me to make more videos. And second is that the video reaches more people because that's how YouTube works. And if video reaches more people, more students will get benefit from this. So, and... Uh, if you have a question or a comment or you want to say something like you want to ask for videos on a particular topic, let me know by using the comment box. Thanks a lot for watching. Enjoy.